from the TOL Studios and today we're going to take a basic approach to the piano just to kind of talk about the letters that we're going to use in music and how they lie on the piano. Um, the upcoming lessons I'll start to kind of show more finger technique as far as like what scales are and some exercises, coordinate your fingers and then eventually like piano chords. Um, so I realize some people might know this basic stuff I'm getting ready to show the next lesson I'll start building on this so uh, but I didn't want to be unfair to people that haven't understood the piano yet so basically today we're going to talk about the first uh, thing is what letters we use from the alphabet music and it's basically the first seven letters A B C D E F G once you get the G we just go back to another A and you start the whole process over A B C D E F G A B C D E G. So I'll talk about that here in a second, a little bit more, but I want to kind of talk about now like how you can kind of memorize where those letters go on the piano. And then I'll kind of explain in the upcoming lessons when we introduce scales, you'll see this even better, but just trust me for today. But, um, I'll explain this one black key. I'm going to say, act like you don't even see it for right now. So you'll see there's two black keys, then there's three, then there's two, three, two, three, two, three, two, and that pattern just keeps repeating, three, two, three, till we run out of room. So basically when you look at the white keys in relation to the black keys, see how I'm on the left side of these two black keys? That's always going to be a C. So if I just go anywhere on the piano and look for two black keys, like right here, then as long as I go to the left white key on the left side, that's a C. But this C is going to be a higher C than the one down there that's a lower one. And that's what I mean by you just kind of keep rotating to the next higher note. So if I go to the black keys here, two black keys on the left side, that's a C, two black keys. That's a C, two black keys, that's a C, two black keys, so I'm on the left white key, C, same thing, two black keys, on the left white key, C, okay, and if I come all the way back down here again, the one I like to tell my students to learn next, if, and I'll explain why I'm skipping, but if you go to the three black keys, but if I go to the left key, white key on the left side of those, that's an F. And the reason I tell students to memorize this one next is because that can look like this one, other than there's two black keys, but I'm on the left side. Here, I'm on the left side, there's three black keys. So then you can always memorize your C's and your F's so you don't make that mistake. So again, the left white key on the left side of the three black, that's an F, here's three black keys, F, 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 three black keys, F. Okay, now if I come back down here again, and if I come to, I'll go back to the white keys here by the two black keys. If I'm in the middle, that's a D. And if you remember, I said C goes to the left, then you'll see, I'm going to start showing you how the alphabet goes in order. So that's your C. C always goes on the left side of these two. D's always in the middle. So like if I go to these two, that's a D. I got these two black keys, D's in the middle, and this is a good exercise to start off with. D right in the middle, D in the middle of the two black keys, two black keys in the middle, white key, D, two black keys, D. So you guessed it, if I come back here and I start and I've got C, D, E comes next, E's always going to go on the right side of the two black keys. So, like, there's two black keys, that's an E, two black keys, that's an E, two black keys, so I'm on that right side, that's an E, on the right side, E, 
two black keys on the right side, E, two black keys, there's my E. Okay, so if we come back down here again, we've got C's on the left of the two black keys, D's in the middle, E's on the right side. That's why I was saying earlier, if you now know your F, so we're going in order, C, D, E, F, so G will always go between these two black keys, but I'm where the three black keys are, not between these two. Okay, right there. So I'm kind of like with the three, but on the left side. So that's a G, three black keys. That's a G, three black keys. That's a G, three black keys. G, three black keys. And again, I'm right there between these two. G, G, G. Now if I come back down here, that means if G goes here, that's going to be my A, because once we get the G, we start back on A. So if I'm on my A, I'm on the right side between these two black keys. So three black keys, A, three black keys, A, three black keys, A, three, and I'm on that, right there on that middle side, so between these two, A, A, A. Now, if you can picture this, if I'm right here by these three and that's an A, picture if those two weren't there, you'd see one black key. Coming back down here, that's what a full piano does. That's an A. And so we do actually start on the first letter of the alphabet. A. So that's going to make that a B. So I'm going to tell you B goes on the right side of the three black keys. Okay, and that one black key right there, that's what you're seeing right here. Okay, so then we've got B I'm on the right side. B, 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 and then a B. Then that way you can see it's going to end on a C. Now, if you're on a keyboard, you're not even going to have that note. We rarely play this note. But uh, that actually ends on a C, and then all the way down here, like I was saying, there's the one black key, but that's like this section right here. That's, so that's your A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That puts me on an A, and that's what that one was. Okay, so if I get here, we got A, B, C, D. And then if you're getting a keyboard, a lot of times a keyboard, it's usually from this note to this note, or maybe those notes. Sometimes you can get a keyboard that goes a little farther down. Just depends, but uh, it normally won't start on an A. It normally starts on a C on the left side. Sometimes I've seen them start on an E. Okay, so it's a little different, but a full-size piano would start on an A, and it would end on a C. Okay, so that's a uh, basic approach to the seven letters, A through G, that we're showing you where they go on the piano. The next lesson, I'll kind of start talking more about what a scale is, the good old Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. But that way I can kind of start to show you like a little finger exercise, show you how to do it with your left hand. Then I kind of just start doing some of that to give you some finger coordination how to approach it on the piano. Um, and then a few lessons after that, we'll kind of start looking at piano chords and some structure there. So just a good exercise like you saw me doing. Just practice hitting a C and just stay on all your Cs and just make sure you can see those up down the piano, then your Fs, then the Ds, and just practice all your letters. Look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching TOL's